Today on Turn Up Tech, we have a special guest. Ace Bergman is in the house. We also have audience members playing the GarageBand app and much, much more. So stay tuned for more on Turn Up Tech. What's going on, guys? How you doing? All right. Woo! Wow! All right. Wow! All right, man. Neil, my man. How you doing, bro? All right, good. good. You ready? You, you ready? Yeah. Ready as well as you, Al, mate. Welcome back. I'm your host, Reed Young. My cohort uh, is in the audience, and we definitely cannot forget about Tech Girl on the Streets getting the vibe from the people in L.A. Thank you so much from last week's uh, show. Um, we learned about cell phones and tablets and a new app called Duolingo. Thank you for responding on social media. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at Turned Up uh, Tech and on Facebook. Neil, my man, you're looking good. You're looking dapper. I'm trying, mate. How are you? All right. You like that word dapper, huh? You know. All right. All right. Cool. Listen, you know, having uh, the chance to travel around the world, one of the things I know that whether it's in Africa, Asia, Northern America, Latin America, and even Europe, that we all have one thing in common. We all love music. Music is an inspiration to all of us. Uh, you could be, you know, be with a loved one, you could be chilling with a group of friends, or you could just be relaxing by yourself. You know, whether it's jazz, blues, country, hip hop, metal, it doesn't matter. It can even be meditative music, all right? So, music is in our daily lives. To quote William Shakespeare, if music was the food of love, play on. So we got a great show today. We got Ace, the guitar tech, is in the house, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, Fantastic. I will definitely be interviewing him later on. But now I'm gonna give it to my co-host, Neil Kumar. Neil. Take it away, buddy. Well, thank you, Reed. Wow, guys, I've got a question for you. Which one and every one of you like music? I love music. You love music, yeah? Music. What do you do? Do you do, you do anything? Um, I like to sing. Okay, yeah. have you been singing for a long time? Um, uh, now and then, in the shower. <laughs> well, well, funny you should say that, because we've got an app that kind of relates that within five minutes, uh, someone can actually play an instrument. So I'm going to pick three more people to join my uh, person right here to work with her. Right, who else likes music? Do you play anything? Do you want to play anything? I always like to play drums. Drums? Have yes. you ever played drums before? Never played before. I always wanted to play. Okay, you can be number two now. I need two more. Come on. Come on. Work so keen. Uh, nah. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, I always wanted to play piano. Have you pl ever played piano? Nope. No? Well, tonight might be your lucky night. Number three. Now, one more. Wow, this guy's a little keen, isn't it? Right, what do you like? I would love to play guitar. Right, okay, have you pl ever played guitar before? You're in there. Right, okay. Guys, we're gonna choose a nap, which is GarageBand, and within guaranteed, within five minutes, you, 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 and you are all gonna be learning the instruments like that. <coughs> I'm pretty confident. Let's give it a whirl. Oh. Wow. Hey, yo, I'm Tectato. Today, we're gonna get down and funky with GarageBand. Step one, tap to pick your instrument and create a new song. Start it by laying down the rhythm with the drums. Step two, press record and wait for the metronome to count you in. Step three, lay down your fucking and press stop when you're done. Step four, press instruments to pick a new instrument like guitar or piano. Step five, when you start recording, you will hear the tracks you just recorded as you play along.
step number six. Press the tracks button to edit or loop your tracks by double tapping on the track. And step seven, da da. When you're finished, go to my songs and it's automatically saved and ready to share with the world. I'm bored. I wish a techno man beast would come and make sweet techno music love to me. Fair maiden, Lena, I owe spit, have come to claim you as my music muse. Oh, spit. What do you have to offer me? to win my musical affection. I offer a 640 megabyte, 24 gigabyte hard drive that holds 50 million songs. OMG, you techno musical beast. Music Music Lena, I too am here to win your affection. What techno offerings did you bring me a chew? Show me what you're working with. Certainly more than those I offer a 640 gigabyte, 24 terabyte hard drive that retains 60 million songs. Oh, wow. You are also a techno musical beast. Oh, what am I to do? The choice is so difficult. There's only one way to solve this problem. With a techno rod duel to the death! that killed the beast. Huh. I'm bored. All I need is one sweet techno musical beast who won't peter out before he loses his ram.
everybody. Hey. Cool. What's your name? Yo, I'm Millie. Yo, awesome. Millie Pierre. Yo, what's good? What's good? <laughs> so what do you do for music? Yo, I, 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 I love music. Music is my life, yo. I'll tell you right now, I'm born and bred music. Like, I, I eat, sleep, and just everything about music, yo. Okay, I mean, I rap, I sing. You know what I mean? I do all kinds of genres. I can sing rock, country, classical, Broadway, anything you want me to sing, I'm down. I can act too, so. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. This is crazy out here. I'm Jen. My name is Jay. Hey, Jay. Um, so, how was your night so far? It's pretty fun, you know? It's beautiful, it's sunny. I'm from San Francisco. It's not like this at home, so this is really cool out here. I do. I got my Samsung. Awesome, awesome. Um, what kind of apps do you have? You know, I do actually, I use it for a lot of planning stuff, like booking trips, um, I listen to my music all the time, I'm always listening to Pandora, of course, texting, Facebook, all the usual. And my favorite one would probably be, uh, I'll be honest, it's Pandora, come on. Free music, occasional advertisement here or there. You can put in any artist you want. Say, for example, you know, we're down here on Hollywood and you see the star from Michael Jackson, you're like, oh man, I'm totally in the mood to listen to some Michael Jackson. So you type in Michael Jackson, and then all of a sudden, check it out. You've got a whole radio station that starts off with Michael Jackson, and then it ends up with stuff just like him. So you'll get a little bit of 80s, a little bit of 90s, a little bit of pop, and then all of a sudden, you're learning new music that you haven't heard of before. That's great. My name's Jesse. Okay, where are you from, Jesse? Detroit. <laughs> cool. What kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone. An iPhone? Awesome. Well, like me, um, I have like a lot of apps on my iPhone. Um, okay. What, what about you? Well, Shazam is my favorite app. Shazam? I love Shazam. How does it work? Well, you listen to some music that you like and you hit the button and then it tells you what's been playing. My favorite app. I love Pandora. Here we go with the music. I, I listen yes. to a lot of gospel music because I'm saved. I'm a Christian. Yes. Yes. Praise, yes. The Praise his name. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, yes, I, you know, I, I, I turn on Pandora. My favorite station right now is Ricky Diller and I just plug it up, let it play. Yes. Awesome. Pandora? Yep. Rhapsody. <laughs> same, it's the same technique, but I can pick what I want to listen to. Okay, it's like a subscription it? service. You can download it, you can stream it, um, you can put it on different apps or different devices and listen to it. And I love all kinds, especially my gospel, hallelujah, I do love that. Yes. And old school, a little old school. Yeah. <laughs> Temptations, you know. I'm on, 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 I'm on fire. Fa 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 fire. Fa 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 fire. I'm on fire. Yeah, fire. yeah that's what's up. Turn up tech, that's where it's at, baby. <laughs>
How long did it take you to do? Uh, like 10 minutes. <laughs> Guys, you all, you all deserve a round of applause. That was the Garage Band app. That was enough for Happy Apps. I'm your host, Neil Kumar. And when we come back from our break, my colleague Reed is going to be going through a nice interview that you're really going to enjoy. That was awesome. Really, really good. You did well there. You just all died, man. And we're back to Turned Up Tech. I'm so excited here, guys. I know I doesn't look it on my face, but I am, because we have a special guest here. His name is Ace. Ace, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, so um, we're going to get right to the nitty gritty here. Sure. Um, are you originally from LA? This is my hometown. I was born and raised here. I grew up in Culver City. Uh, I've lived around the town since then. I live in Lincoln Heights right now. Um, I've lived here most of my life. I spent four years living in the mountains and then six months living in Budapest as an exchange student. Um, and then I've spent the last 10 years touring, so I've been all over the world, but this is home base and has been almost my whole life. Wow, that's cool, that's cool. So um, listen, how did you get involved with music? Well, you know, it started when I was a kid. My dad used to um, work in the music business as a uh, doing legal work mm -hmm. and uh, he'd hang around Van Halen and the Runaways and uh, a bunch of different promoters and stuff so you know in the late 70s he was in the scene and then he had a love of music my mom sang as a hobby and would sing to me so I was sort of surrounded by music if not musicians all the time and I just sort of learned that love of music and how it was sort of the the voice between everyone you know that the, the universal language aspect of it. Of course. And it seemed like a higher calling almost. You know? Okay, okay. So it was pretty cool. I was, I was into it from a young age and still am. That's, that's good, man. That's good. So you're a guitar tech. So can you explain to the audience what a guitar tech does? Well, a guitar tech's basically kind of like the uh, NASCAR mechanic for a NASCAR driver. Okay. So I travel around with a you know, my artist, I go all over the world and I maintain all of the guitars and, um, you know, I'm in charge of the, the effects. In, even live, I do all the, the pedal changes mm -hmm. and all the, the live effects. I'm in charge of all the amplifiers and, and then to an extent, I'm in charge of coordinating all the gear movements and, um, you know, there, there's a whole lot of aspects to what I do. Um, you know, and I develop new products and, you know, with different manufacturers and stuff like that. And okay. I give feedback on, on new things and, um, you know, so basically I'm kind of like a guitar mechanic, guitar I guess mechanic. is the best way to describe it. Well, it sounds like it's a lot of responsibility too. It is. I mean, you know, when we're out there on stage in front of tens or, t you know, hundreds of thousands of people or, you know, on a TV show in front of millions of people, you got, you know, you have to have a zero fail mentality you know of it, it has to work um, you know the stress is high but I have a great team backing me up um, I apply myself push myself as hard as I can to be the best guitar tech so I can get as close to zero failures as I can okay. and I can get the best sound out of the gear for my artist and I can you know provide the you know the best support to whoever mm -hmm. I'm working for okay cool so can you tell us a little bit about this guitar that you brought? Uh, this guitar was a gift to me from my boss, Slash. Uh, it's a prototype for his most recent uh, Gibson Les Paul. Mm -hmm. The way it works is, you know, you play on the guitar and these pickups change that sound wave into a magnetic, um, into an electrical wave, okay. you know, AC current. So what, this, what happens is it comes out, you know, you play your, your little riff mm -hmm. and it transfers uh, changes your into an AC current which comes out and goes into your amplifier oh, wow. which takes that current and it 
that's the sound and then what it does is it amplifies it and it shapes the tonality a little bit maybe add a little bass or a little take a little high end out as needed so you get the tone you're looking for and then um, you know it, it makes this little this little clunky sound into a big you know wall of marshals which is that big rock and roll sound that you're familiar with oh wow so this is actually a smaller version of what you do on tour. Yeah, then. this is the Marshall JCM-1. This is the one watt version of the JCM-800 stage head that we use. Okay. Uh, basically what this does is it's got a little input here where you plug in your guitar and what this does is it takes the AC signal from your guitar, which is also the sound wave, mm -hmm. and it amplifies it to something that is loud enough to push the speakers. So, and it has a few controls on here. It's really basic. You could just add a little bit of low end high end or a little bit of mid range so you can EQ your sound a little bit and change both the uh, loudness, the volume, and the, uh, the gain, sort of the distortion of the amplifier. And that, okay. that's all the controls on this thing. It's really straightforward. It's a sort of a one trick pony, but um, you know, this is a really classic design. It's sort of like the muscle car of the amplifiers. So oh, there's wow. a lot of people who go through here and you know, hot rod these things to get different sounds. Now is that the pedals that you use is that connected towards to the amp? Yeah, the pedals will be both in front and possibly behind this amplifier, and they, they alter the sound a little bit. So this, this gives it its characteristic and pedals, you know, kind of add seasoning to it, I guess you could say. It sounds great, and I love it. And it's roughly a tenth as loud because sound is logarithmic, so uh -huh. um, it's roughly a tenth as loud as our stage amplifiers. Oh, wow. So you basically, guitar techs, you guys travel with them. You guys do tours around the world. I, yes. I go everywhere that, that there is aware, okay. more or less. <laughs> wow, that, you know, that sounds like an exciting, exciting job. Um, you had talked to me earlier about um, you went to guitar school to learn to make guitars and everything like yes, that. Yes, that, that's sort of how I got started. You know, I started as a guitar player and became more curious about working on my own guitars. And I knew I wanted to be a tech, and there's no real tech school, but there is guitar building school, so that's a good foundation for, you know, learning the basics of guitar. And then from there, you just experience you know i've been doing this 10 years touring with different bands okay cool well listen ace thank you so much for coming in i appreciate it thank you so much thank you for having me um we also want to give um a little information about they have a tour coming up uh headliners aerosmith and the tour is called lit rock rule it's a world tour tour it starts in the east coast um special guest is going to be slash featuring miles kennedy and the conspirators um, if you want more information on the tour, you can go to www.aerosmith.com to find out dates and information. We also want to tell you, thank you for tuning in to Turned Up Tech. We appreciate it. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you so much, folks, for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, you so much, Ace. <laughs> wow. That's good, bro.